Alright, um, we continue on, okay, uh, on the chi square goodness of it. We go through the, the second example, okay. So we went through this example, we looked at the hypothesis and then how you can calculate the expected frequencies um, and then do the conclusion, okay. So this is the second question. The number of accidents per week at an intersection was checked for 50 weeks. So the results are shown in the table below. Okay, so test the hypothesis that Y, here Y is the number of accidents, has a Poisson distribution at alpha equal to 0 0.10. Okay, so it's like um there somebody sat down collected this data okay so a number of weeks so we found out that a 28 weeks it, it took 50 weeks and then he sat uh, probably at the roadside or maybe checking the accident happening or getting the information from somewhere okay he can be observing it himself or getting the information from somewhere so out of the 50 weeks he found out that 28 weeks 28 weeks no accident was recorded 12 weeks one accident and then eight weeks only two accident three or more three or more accidents were recorded in two weeks okay and then they're asking that you should test whether the number of accident number of accident can be modeled by a Poisson distribution at alpha 0 0.10 okay so look at how the chi-square goodness of its uh, data look like so if you are doing chi-square goodness of it the data you should be presented with should look like this okay it should have some random variable and its frequency okay frequency that is the number of times it is appearing or oh, that particular zero is appearing how many times 28 weeks so zero accident in 28 weeks so all the time to look at chi square goodness of it eh? to look at chi square goodness of it chi square goodness of it you should be able to right so you want to look at this chi square goodness of fit you should be able to look at uh, this kind of data see this kind of data and then you can easily go about it okay all right so now the first thing in any uh, hypothesis test is to write out the hypothesis okay the alternative and the null hypothesis so he says that now and the alternative hypothesis are okay what are they says that the number of accidents per week y follows the Poisson distribution i remember i gave some tests and then i said uh, what's the null hypothesis for chi square goodness of fit and then i didn't bring this one right about I, I brought this one as the null hypothesis some of you choose this why the cannot be modeled by the specified distribution that's not it okay so if you say that the number of accidents per weeks why follows the Poisson distribution what we are saying is that the the distribution for the number or the frequencies observed okay observed during the person's experiment is the same as the frequency the person will observe and the Poisson distribution which is the same as saying that the number of accidents per week y follows the Poisson distribution so take note okay take note of that they are the same so i use that to to see how would you understand so that is that check that one out right so now uh, remember the first example we solved there wasn't any specified distribution but we knew that um, uh, the expected probabilities 
were just equal throughout one over six one over six throughout but it happens that you are saying it's a Poisson distribution okay you are saying that it's a Poisson distribution I'm saying that it's a Poisson distribution so now if it is a Poisson distribution we already have our observed frequencies F i's which is in the table but we will need our E i's okay we will need our E i's so how do you get the E i's you know per the formula we said E i is what n times p isn't it n times p or p let me write p i so it means that we have to look for the probability of having zero accident using a Poisson distribution probability of having one accident two accidents three or more accidents okay then multiply by n the number of weeks okay the number of weeks and then we'll be able to get our uh, eis okay eis so that is why you have to be able to remember the Poisson distribution because we're going to use this to calculate the probabilities all right so we believe that yeah you want to compare your data you have a certain data here let's say this is uh, x and there's this data which is Poisson okay this is Poisson so you want to compare that this is this data this data you have here same as this data here okay that means that the frequencies you get here the frequencies you get here should be the same as the frequencies we are getting here okay we'll be getting here all right so the fi's are with the experiment so the person's experiment will give you these frequencies and now you are trying to find a distribution for it you said poison so in that case what are the uh, frequencies that we will get if indeed it is Poisson and we are trying to compare all right so the now hypothesis is saying that yeah the distribution of these frequencies the observed frequencies is the same as the distribution of the observed frequencies which is the same as right and this okay so take note so you would need this one to find these EIs right because you need the probabilities the n is already known the end the person uh, did the observation for 50 weeks okay so the end is already known the n is already known so what we have to look for is the probabilities because we need to use the formula okay so use the formula too but you need the mu remember that uh, Poisson distribution has mu y e raised the power minus mu over y factorial all right so you need a mu so how do you get a mean you have to estimate the mean so look at this now remember the Poisson distribution if I say X follows Poisson distribution then the only parameter here we will need is the mean okay is the mean so now that we don't have the mean we have to estimate it using the data given above okay so remember from high school you find a mean uh, we find a mean we do summation of uh, f i y i over n okay all right so it's like summation of summation of um you see summation of f of x isn't it f of x all divided by summation of f all right and here it happens that summation of f is n okay if you sum f the frequencies you get 50 weeks which is what is here okay so that is n and then you sum you pick the fi so for zero the frequency was zero and y the number of um, uh, the number of accidents was zero and then the frequency or the number of weeks were 28 in that order and you get 0 0.68 okay so this is the estimated mu 
so you put this in a formula and then use it to calculate the probabilities so putting it in a formula you get this so you want to calculate probability that y is equal to zero because remember y takes in zero accident one accident two or three or more so probability that y is zero is that put it put a zero in place of y and get a value probability that y is one you put it inside you get a value probability that y is a two you put two inside and get a value and then the other one you say three or more okay so probably the y is greater or equal to three and which can be written as one minus probability that y is less or equal to two which is the same as one minus the uh, probability that x y is equal to zero plus probability y is equal to one plus probability y equal to what two which has been calculated already so you substitute and subtract from one you get this okay so now you have your probabilities so you draw your table draw a table and then you have this uh, 0 1 2 3 or more okay and your frequencies 28 12 8 and 2 okay all right then the expected frequencies you multiply 50 by all the probabilities so for this we had probability of 0 0.5066 so you multiply 50 by that multiply 50 by that all right and remember we said that the rule of 5 we said that the rule of five if you remember we said that our EIs EIs should be greater or equal to uh, five okay so we happen that there is this value which is one of the EIs for two and it's 1.59 it's nowhere equal to five so in that case you add up to this okay you add that value to this to get seven point uh, four four five and then as far as you have done this to this you come and do the same you add up this to this you get a 10 so now you are dealing with one two three data points okay one two three data points so now your f eyes your f eyes reduce to three your f eyes reduce to three and then your e eyes also reduce to three okay so you you use the formula f i minus e i all squared over e i so 28 minus 20, 25.33 all squared over 25.33 okay when you do everything you sum you get this value okay so now you have to the test statistics is 2.743 you have to find a critical value okay critical value so finding the critical value you need when alpha value was given as 10 0.10 okay and then uh, you have to find degrees of freedom so k the treatment already or the categories were for one two three four initially isn't it but the fact that there is, has been a rule of law and then we have added up this to this now the categories has reduced to three okay so k here is now three minus one and then c is one because remember that the parameter mu was not given in the question okay remember that remember that the parameter mu because remember y follows poisson distribution okay with parameter mu all right and then this mu was not known it's an unknown parameter remember c c is the number of unknown parameter you have to estimate so we this is the estimation we estimated it okay and then we had this value so estimating it means our c now c now is equal to the one because we have estimated uh, some parameter okay all right so that makes our degrees of freedom to be um, three minus one minus one which is one so you are looking for chi squared 0 0.10 degrees of freedom of one all right so let's look at the chi square table so chi square table degrees of freedom is one 
Okay, so degree, degrees of freedom is one. So take notes. Degrees of freedom is one. Alpha value is zero point. Degrees of freedom is one. Alpha value is zero point one. Okay, so this is a value. So degrees of freedom is one. Alpha value is zero point one zero. So the value we get is two point uh, seven. Zero six, okay. All right, two point seven zero six. I think that's the value here when you approximate two point seven zero six. All right, so now you have to redo the rejection rule, you have to do the rejection rule, and then you should know it. Okay, this is the chi squared. We said that the rejection rule chi square should be greater or equal to I asked this question and chi squared alpha uh, degrees of freedom okay degrees of freedom so this is the chi square degrees of freedom and then this is a chi squared so you compare this this and this this is greater than this yes so it's greater this is greater than that so you reject the null hypothesis so the null hypothesis is rejected since chi squared is greater than this value and now you conclude that uh, your weekly occurrence of accident intersection do not appear to follow a Poisson distribution okay because now you have rejected your null hypothesis which states that your data follows a, a Poisson distribution and so now you go in for the alternative hypothesis which states that it doesn't follow Poisson distribution okay so I think this is the last example we'll solve in this uh, uh, course all right uh, this question or this topic okay so make sure you go through this one this is no binomial distribution okay binomial distribution you can ask any question you want binomial distribution so this one is also done go through and then there is another one which is normal distribution okay we'll, we'll look for some time and then we'll treat this one too okay all right so bye